Yay! <laughs> Hi, Leo. Ready to eat? Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me go through today's menu with you. Today we're serving salads, vegan burgers, and my favorite, super special ice cream sundaes. Ah, so you want the super special ice cream sundae. Good choice, Leo. I'll be right back with your ice cream after taking the rest of the orders. What would you like to order today, Moo? Chickens! Uh, Moo, we don't have any chicken on the menu. Oh, you want the salad. No worries, Moo. One vegan burger. Oh, you'd like a salad instead of a burger? <laughs> so you want the burger as well. No worries. One salad and one vegan burger coming right up. So what'll it be, June? A super special ice cream sundae. Awesome choice, June. Coming right up. A vegan burger for you, Ziggy. <clears throat> <laughs> I see. You want three vegan burgers. Hi, Bip. I've got all the orders here. Uh, Dr. P? Can you tell me how many of each dish I need to make? <laughs> no worries, Bip. We sure can. Now that we've got all the orders, can you help count how many of each dish Bip needs to make? Awesome! So, now we know what everyone has ordered, let's add up the dishes in each column and see what the total number is for each dish. We have a total of one, two, two salad orders. We need one, two, three, four. Four burgers. And we have one, two, two orders of the super special ice cream sundae. Okay, Bip. So now you know how many of each dish you need to make. Cool. Thanks, Dr. P. There you go, Leo. One super special ice cream sundae. It sure is a lot of ice cream for one person. Bip, we're missing one super special ice cream sundae for June. Uh-oh, Dr. P. We're all out of ice cream. June, I'm so sorry. We don't have any more super special ice cream sundaes. Oh, that's very nice of you, Leo. Aw, oh, that sure is a special Sunday. Enjoy your ice cream. <laughs> cool! You arrived just in time for the show. Right this way. Welcome to the Toto and Bip comedy show. <laughs> Hi, guys. Are you excited about seeing Toto and Bip's awesome show? <laughs> Tickets, please. Hmm. What's wrong, Bip? These tickets have different numbers and letters on them. I, I don't know where Hoop is supposed to be sitting. Would you like us to help you figure out where each person needs to go? Yes, please, Dr. P. <laughs> okay. Toto's divided the seats into three rows and three columns. And he's given each column a number. We have column one, column two, and column three. And he's given each row a letter. So we have row A, row B, and row C. Can you help Bip find Hoopa's seat? Awesome! 
Hoofa's ticket says seat B3. That means that Hoopa's seat is in row B, column three. Huh? No worries, Bip. I'll show you. First, we need to find row B. Then we need to find column three. And where the row and column meet, we find seat B3. I see where Hoopa's seat is now. Right this way, Hoopa. Let's figure out where June needs to sit. June's ticket says C2. That means June is sitting in row C. And column two. There! May May's ticket says A1. Can you remember what the A on her ticket means? <laughs> That's right! It means that May May's seat is in row A. Can you remember what the one means? <laughs> you got it! It means that her seat is in column one. There it is! Everyone is in their seat. We are ready to start the show. <laughs> uh, Bip, uh, you forgot to sit in your seat. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Toto and Bip comedy show. <laughs> say, Toto, what did one plate say to the other plate? Dinner is on me. <laughs> oh, Bip. That was an awesome basketball game, Dr. P. Toto did some great moves. We should have filmed it. Yeah. Shall I get some drinks for us, Bip? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Dr. P. Hey, Toto, check out this new game I got on my tablet. It's the coolest game ever. Yay! Uh, hang on. I just need to put in my password number. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, uh I can't remember my password. Don't worry, I have all my passwords safely written on this piece of paper. <laughs> Ice cold drinks all round. Uh -oh. Whoa, looks like you need a towel to dry you off, Bip. Oh no, I can't read the last numbers. Can you remember what they were? No, but I remember that I used a pattern. No worries, Bip. We'll help you figure out the pattern you used. Pattern? A pattern is something that repeats itself, Toto. Oh. Can you help Bip figure out his password? Awesome. Looks like Bip is using a number pattern for his password. All we need to do is figure out what the last two numbers of the password are. <laughs> Cool. Let's see if we can find the pattern in these numbers. Two, five, one. Two, five, one. Two. So the numbers are repeating themselves after every third number. Two, five, one. Two, five, one. Do you know what comes after the two? Juice! <laughs> That's true, Toto. There is a lot of juice after number two, but we are looking for the next numbers in the pattern. Um, five, one. Let's try it out. Two, five, one. Two, five, one. Two... Five and one. 
Yes! We're in! Yay! Oh, cool. Thanks, Dr. P. I got some more juice. I'm just going to show Toto another game. It's really awesome. And it's about numbers, too. Um. Uh-oh, Bip. Looks like we've got to work out another number pattern. Okay. But what about another game of basketball Yay! first? <laughs> hey there, Moo. Are you ready to sell your cupcakes? Oh, I see. You've got different numbers of cupcakes in the boxes, so everyone can ask for the number they want. Oh, you got your first customer already. Ah, looks like Hoopa's super hungry, Moo. He wants four cupcakes. <laughs> Hoopa's decided he'd like one more cupcake, please, Moo. Uh-oh, that box is empty, Moo. You've given Hoopa zero cupcakes. The first box Moo gave Hoopa had four cupcakes in it. The second box Moo gave to Hoopa had nothing in it. That means there are zero cupcakes in the second box. Four plus zero is... Yep, four. Zero means nothing. So no more cupcakes have been added. <laughs> <laughs> Hoopa sure loves your cupcakes, Moo. They're nearly all gone. Hi, Dr. P. Hi, Moo. Uh, I would like to have a box of three of your most awesome cupcakes, please. <laughs> oh, awesome. Phew, Moo. You had enough boxes. And now there's only one box left. Oh! Oh, Moo, thanks, but, uh, I can really only eat three cupcakes. Are you sure you don't want an extra cupcake, Bip? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, Dr. P. Oh. oh, but there's nothing inside. Let's see what happens when you take zero away from something. The first box Moo gave to Bip had three cupcakes in it. The second box Moo gave to Bip was a box with nothing in it. That means there are zero cupcakes in the second box. Bip gave the box back to Moo, so he took zero away from what he had. Three take away zero is... Hey, yep, three! Zero means nothing. So nothing has been taken away from Bip's box of cupcakes. Zero! <laughs> You're right! There are zero cupcakes left, Toto. But I think there might be a few in the chicken's tummies. <laughs> They're so hungry. Hey there, Bip! Where are you off to today? Oh, I see. You're taking Leo home. Oh, that ice cream looks good, Leo. Huh? What's that? Uh-oh. The bus is almost out of fuel, Bip. You need to get to a gas station fast. Oh, no. It's too late. You're out of fuel, Bip. bad about your ice cream, Leo. But how will you get home now? What do you see, Bip? Looks like good news. It is good news. That's Richie's gas station, and it's just down the road. Hmm, do you think you can push the bus to the station? 
Let's cheer Pip and Leo on and shout, push! Ready, steady, push! <laughs> yes! You did it! Whoa! <laughs> Richie, can you fill up Bip's bus, please? Okay, it's Dr. Panda Toto time. Bip's bus needs 10 liters of fuel to fill it up. Can you help us count the numbers on the pump until it gets to 10? Let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is the tank full already? Nope, the tank needs 10 liters to be full. Keep pumping, Richie. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Awesome, the tank is full. Now we just need to go inside and pay for the fuel. Okay, Richie, how much do we need to pay for the fuel? Great, we need to pay Richie eight panda dollars. Bip has a ten dollar note, but Bip only needs to pay Richie eight. So, how many dollars does Richie need to give Bip back? Two! Wow, Toto, you're so smart! Because ten minus eight equals two. Richie needs to give Bip two dollars back. Good job, guys. And now it's time to drive Leo home. <laughs> Guess you don't need to go home just yet, huh, Leo? Enjoy your ice creams, guys. Hi there, Moo. Are you all ready for the fruit swap day? <laughs> awesome! Hiya, Dr. P. Hiya, Toto and Moo. Oh, look at all this yummy fruit. What did you guys bring to swap? We have some super sweet strawberries. Oh, nice. I brought a juicy apple. Mmm. I sure would like to have some of those strawberries. Sure thing. Have a look at Moo's sign to see how many strawberries you will get for one apple. Uh, I'm not sure. No worries, Bip. We'll help you figure it out. Can you help Bip figure out how many strawberries he can get for one apple? Awesome. Let's take a look at Moo's exchange rate. Okay, so one watermelon equals four apples. One apple equals two oranges. And one orange equals three strawberries. Bip has one apple. Apple. Bip wants to swap his apple for some strawberries, but how many strawberries can Bip get for his one apple? Let's see if we can figure it out. We know Bip can get three strawberries for one orange. And we know Bip can get two oranges for one apple. So, one orange equals three strawberries. And Bip can get two oranges for his one apple. Each orange is worth three strawberries. So, if Bip swaps his one apple for two oranges, and each orange can be swapped for three strawberries, then how many strawberries can Bip get for two oranges? Mm, one, two, Three, four, five, six. That's right. If we add up all the strawberries, we have six strawberries. 
Two oranges can be swapped for six strawberries. So if one apple equals two oranges and two oranges equals six strawberries, we can say one apple is equal to six strawberries. Oh, cool! <laughs> oh, thanks, Moo. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Hey, Hoopa! That's an awesome-looking watermelon. What are you going to swap it for? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, Moo, what can you swap for some strawberry jam? <laughs> Richie, the wind blew all the gloves off the stands. <laughs> no worries, Richie. We'll help you put them back. Each of these clothes stands can wear two gloves. So we need to put all these gloves into pairs of two. We'll need an even number of gloves. Even? An even number can be divided into two equal groups. Odd numbers can't be divided into two equal groups. All numbers are either odd or even. Let's see if we can divide this big pile of gloves into pairs of two. Let's get counting. One, two. Two gloves make a pair. Three, four. That's another group of two. That means we have another pair of gloves. Five, six. We've got another pair of gloves. Seven. Hmm. We only have seven gloves. Seven is an odd number. We need one more to make it an even number. Now, where could that last glove be? Can you spot the last glove? <laughs> Those gloves sure have a good grip, Richie. That makes eight. That means that two, four, six, and eight are even numbers. <laughs> Oops, that wind blew your socks off, Richie. <laughs> Uh, we'll help you get the socks back on the stands. Each of these stands should wear two socks. We need an even number of socks. Even. <laughs> That's right, Toto. Let's see if we have an even or an odd number of socks. We've got one, two socks. That's a pair. Now three, four... That's another pair. Five. Looks like we are missing one. Can you find the missing sock? <laughs> sock. Good job. There it is. We found six socks. And we could divide them evenly. That means two, four, and six are even numbers. Okay, let's see, Richie. You have one, two, three, four, five hats. What kind of number do you think five is, Toto? Even or odd? Odd. Okay, let's see if we can divide the five hats equally. One, two, three, four. Toto, you were right. Five is an odd number. When you try to divide an odd number, there is always one left over. Awesome! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still have a hat yeah. left over. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, cool! You found my hat, Dr. P! Awesome work, Toto! <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Hoopa! Have you been tinkering with your Hoopatron again? What does it do now? That looks like a speedometer. It shows you speed. 
The higher the number, the faster you go. Whoa, your Hoopatrons made that snail super speedy. Can your Hoopatron make things go slower too? <laughs> I don't think that snail wants to go slowly again, Hoopa. Ooh, look, pizza delivery. What's the matter, Hoopa? Has it gone cold? No worries, Hoopa. Bip can go and get you a fresh, hot pizza. Hey, Bip, do you want Hoopa to make you go super fast with his Hoopatron? Okay, here it goes. How are you feeling, Bip? Whoa! Wow, that really was fast. You've got another pizza order. Ziggy wants a pizza. Uh, I would be careful using that speeding machine again, Bip. You don't want to go too fast. Maybe we should follow Bip and make sure he doesn't run into trouble, Hoopa. You and Ziggy can drive after him in Ziggy's car. Follow that pizza. Hoopa and Ziggy need to reach Bip. Bip's speed is 80. Ziggy is going 50. Who is going faster? Bip, Bip. That's right, Bip. Because 80 is more than 50. So Ziggy needs to drive faster to reach Bip. Step on it, Ziggy. to 100. Now who's going faster? Ziggy, that's right. Quick, guys, use Hoopa's Hoopatron to make Bip slow down. Great. I guess you've had enough of being fast for today, huh, Bip? Is it still hot, Ziggy? Just remember, that it's best to eat your food slowly. <laughs> Hi, Hoopa! Hi, Olette! Are you waiting for Bip's bus to arrive? Oh, what's the matter, Olette? Is the bus late? Hmm, where could Bip be? Bip! Bip! Wake up! Did you forget you're driving the bus today? Well, you'd better hurry up! Your passengers are waiting! Here comes the bus, guys! Bip's bus has room for eight people. Can you help Bip keep count of his passengers? Here we go. Hoopa's on board. That's one. And Olette makes two. Now Bip has two passengers. All right, on to the next stop, Bip. some more passengers waiting to board the bus. Let's keep counting Bip's passengers. That makes three, four, five, and that's six. Now Bip has six passengers on his bus. So first we had two passengers on the bus. Then four more passengers came on board. And when you add two and four together, you get six. Let's get back on the road, Bip. Hmm, there's no one waiting to get on at this bus stop, but maybe someone needs to get off. Aha, this is Koopa's stop. He's off to work. Okay, everyone. Let's count how many passengers are left now Hoopa has gotten off the bus. There were six passengers on the bus, but one of them got off. Do you know how many people are still on board? Yep, that's right, five. Now there are five passengers on the bus. 
great job. On to the next stop, Bip. There's Moo and her chickens. Hi, Moo. Are you taking the bus to the farmer's market? Uh-oh, Bip. There's a problem. There aren't enough seats for everyone. There's only room for eight passengers. Ah, looks like Bip has an idea. Awesome! Now Moo can go to the farmer's market with all of her chickens. Stick around for more Toto Time episodes. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. Yay! <laughs>